Okay, so now we have a patient. They don't have any neurological deficit, I know that. They have a sharp pain that comes on in their back or in their butt, and they might have some radicular pain even, uh, but it's sharp. And if they move a certain way, it really kills them. So then Syriax's uh, articular pattern, his test patterns are, if you arch back, there could be pain and there could not be pain. If it's on the right side, you side bend to the right, does not increase the pain at all. If you thought that was a derangement, then you that should increase the pain, right? You go away, it increases the pain sharply. So Syriax's perspective is that this annulus, this cartilaginous ring, has stuck out like a bucket handle tear in a knee, and it's out. And when you do this, you're you're bringing kind of like the nerve and everything hitting this thing, and you're going out like that. So so now I'm saying, okay, I wonder if that's true. Now you might, I say, bend forward, and you might go, ow, oh, it went away, ow, went away, like a painful arc. Mm -hmm. So it hits something, goes away. Mm -hmm. So now I'm thinking there's a potential here for Syriax manipulation process, his sequence of events. I don't need McKenzie, I don't need any of that stuff. So then I'll continue the whole exam I did, mm -hmm. and now it says to me, there's no question this is an articular Syriax uh, problem, not a, a derangement, not, not a disc. I mean, not a viscous part of the disc, not a disc as we know. So then I'm saying to myself, I just got to change that. And that's all I have to do. Now I'll give them exercises, but the bottom line is, if you want to see what I would do treatment wise, mm -hmm. then this is what I would do. I would say, okay, if it's on the right side, I'd say I want you to lie on your side facing that way. Oh no, this is the, sorry, let's make it the le left side. Okay, left side. Left side, hands so on the left side. I bent to the right. Yeah, out, forward. perfect, okay. yeah. Okay, so I make the bottom leg straight, top leg like this behind the knee. Then I say to the person, can you just roll back towards me a little bit? Good. So. I keep their hands there. And then I lower the table, lower the table, lower the table. And the person might say, ow, that hurts. If they do, I move them forward a little bit, take the pressure off. So then I say to them, depending, if there are people that know manipulation and they feel comfortable, um, I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do it. probably the most gentle manipulation you've ever had in your life. Um, so I'm gonna put my hand right here. I'm gonna put my hand here. now. I'm on two feet together, I'm diagonal here, purposely. And then I would say, take a deep breath and blow out. And then I just go, and I just overpressure, that's all. Nothing else. Then I say, stand up however you can and face that way. And then I go through the exam. So if this hurt, one or two of these things are going to diminish. Or, you know, if this hurt, oh, I went further. Or if this hurt, they might go, oh, I don't have that arc. So then I would say, so Syriax technically would say, okay, give him something, let him go home, because you changed something. I have never done that. I still don't do that. So then I go, oh, wow, this is good. And then I say, let's lie down on the table again. And now, so that was the first, first one, okay? Now put this leg straight, there we go, yeah. And make sure you have enough room, because if you, if you have them like this, well, you're in trouble, because you're gonna get nowhere, right? So make sure you have the room. So then, I'm gonna come around to the front, grab it here, good. Just roll a little bit, that doesn't hurt, does it? That's what I would say. Now, as you can see, I'm going to, now unlike if you were doing sing, single segmented mobility, where you'd bring everything back, get everything in line, and if you thought it was L4-5, you would rotate until you feel that lock, and then you'd come in here. I'm not doing that, this is Syriax, okay? So Syriax would come like so, 
bringing this here. Then I'd say, do you start to feel it? And the person says, whatever. Then once again, I'm, now I'm going to turn again. Sorry, I'm holding because you're too close here. Okay, so now I'm going to turn again. But this time, so now instead of coming from the back diagonal, I'm like this. So I'm going to take up slack, tell them to take a deep breath. I'm not going to do it. And then I'm going to go like that. A lot harder pulling this like that. Okay. okay. So then I have the person get up, blah, blah, blah. Um, if, if that changed, which it usually does, if you, would, if you examine right, and you do this every time you get a change. It never does it. Now, technically, I should have done the backside the second time, got you up. And then you'd say, nothing changed. Then I go to this one, get you up, it changes. Now I do it again, get you up, it doesn't change. So then you gotta do the next, you know. So, so Syrex is, you're supposed, if you get a change, do the same thing, technically. So, technically I would do that with the patient. I jumped ahead too fast, but. Um, so then this one, which I call the $6 million roll, you know, which you'd be like this, and you, you're gonna use this as a lever, and you're gonna like really crank that thing. But now let's say, Okay, you made two good changes. Now lie on your back. Okay, so now we're staying like this. And now I'm putting this leg down. And you'll, you'll feel it. I won't do it though. Yeah, so now I'm starting like this. Okay. So you're down. Now you feel that lever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I'm going to come like this. And then just go like that. And then stand you up. Blah, blah, blah. So I would just do those three. And then I, then usually they're like, I'm not kidding. Oh, that's so much better if I go. It means nothing. Because if it doesn't stay, it's like, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. If it stays, we did the right treatment, mm -hmm. right? So I, I'll say to him then, okay, I want you to not pick up things off the floor. Uh, I don't want any quick movements and flexion. Um, if you could sit for 30 minutes, 45 at the most. Um, I'd like you to do press ups. I want to do these. So I'm doing extension stuff because I don't want to take a chance of this. Mm -hmm. And then they come back in two days. And then we, they, they might tell you, hey, I'm feeling really good. I don't care. Do this. Do this. The last one I'll do is the one, see if it's this side, I'll do this first and then this side. And they'll say, if they say, oh, that's still, then I'll have watched how far down. Do you have the arc? Then I might say, okay, you're better because I've taken some away, but you're not there. And then I'll go through the sequence. So let's try this. Now I wouldn't do the back one on the second time because that's, I don't think that's as aggressive. So yeah, and then go through the same thing. And I'm not kidding. I'm gonna do it two or three times at the most. That's it. Because if I got it, I'll get it. If I didn't get it, it's not one of those long-term things. Mm -hmm. You know, like a disc, like a viscous disc or something like that. Um, so that's just the sequence I do. And when you pick out the right person, it's magic. Because some people never had been manipulated. But then I go, I'm just going to try a couple stretching things. I just tell them I'm stretching. Yeah. Do you but, usually get a cavitation or no? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. You don't always. Uh, which I don't need, even though, yeah. you know, they like that. People in general are like, did you hear that? Yeah, some people like that. But some people, they're saying, this is, I don't like this. I don't think this, I love those people. Oh. Yeah. Because then they're angry or not happy. And I was like, just let me try a little thing. Let me, and then they get up and they're like, oh, wow. Well, now you got them. Now they're like, do me some more. You know, I mean, yeah. yeah but you got to be careful. Yeah, that's totally why it's great to start with that first one that's not as aggressive. It's so gentle. Yeah. And it has an impact, yeah. which is really, to this day, that freaks me out, to be honest with you. And so you use those techniques for someone who, it's the contralateral side, mm -hmm. side bends limited, causes pain on that right side, mm -hmm. whether it's down the leg mm -hmm. or in that, yep. and then if they have that painful part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that's the simplest. But they could have five of the six. You know, yeah. they could say, out. They might have arc there, okay, here. But this one, they're like, that doesn't do anything. Uh, so the yeah. lateral side has to be... It, well, in most cases, if it's six out of six, then I'm like, wait a minute. 
If it's ever six out of six, I'm like, wait a minute. Meaning every direction hurts? Yeah, six, if it's six out, or four to four, five, whatever you do, mm -hmm. and, and they're all hurting, it's, it's mud. So when I see that, I'm like, red flag, either they're in so much pain or they're confused or whatever. So I have to clear up that mud. So sometimes there's a case where I might, if it's totally, ow, 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 then I might just throw a modality at them. I'm not gonna give Marty anything. Mm -hmm. Cause then see how they respond. Mm -hmm. And if they go, that was so much better. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is a, I would call TLC patient. Mm -hmm. I have to work around them. They might have something legit, mm -hmm. but you know, you gotta use your skills to talk with them, figure them out and get them better.